doing a, a time series plot on the 330 or the classpad 2 is really, really quite easy. Um, I'll s explain the two ways to do it. You're either doing it in stats or you're doing it in spreadsheets. So let's go with stats first of all. Now list 1 will be your explanatory variable. So with a time series plot, generally we use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc, etc to signify the time intervals. Um, so this might be months of the year and this is month 1, month 2. You'll understand we can't put January, February, um, etc there because it just can't graph that, that detail. Um, so this, let's just say this rep represents the days of the week um, and um, what we're going to do is the maximum temperature in Melbourne over the course of the week. So let's go 21, 25, 29, 32, um, cool change comes, 19, back up to 22 and 25. Let's compare that with say, um, I don't know, somewhere more exotic like Paris. So in Melbourne's warm, Paris is cold, I suppose. So let's go 5, 10, 5, all down to 1, 2, 10, 11. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want two scatter, uh, two time series plots. We want to compare Melbourne's maximum temperatures with Paris's maximum temperatures. So we need a second stat graph. So that just makes sure that both of them are selected. Now what we go to is we adjust the settings. So instead of scatter, which you'll be used to doing with bivariate, we want an XY line plot. The first one is going to compare this list one, the explanatory, with uh, list two being the response variable, which is Melbourne's temperature. So we go set. Now we, what we want to do is also change the settings um, for the second graph. So we go XY line for the second one, where the list one has the explanatory, that's the time, but we want to change that to list three and set, and then we just go graph, and it's as simple as that. So that'll give you a good idea of the look of the time series um, plot, and again, you'll be able to sort of work out whether there's any trends or whatever you're looking for, um, and it will allow you to really describe or compare two time series plots. Now, I'll just quickly show you how to do that on spreadsheet. It's, um, it's fairly simple as well. Um, with a spreadsheet, it already knows that these intervals represent intervals of one, so you don't actually have to put the explanatory variable in. So let's go again and just put in some phony Melbourne temperatures. Let's go summer this time, 39, um, oh, one day over 40, and then the old cool change comes, and then 22. All right, and again, we'll compare it to, say, New York this time. So five degrees in New York, then eight, nine, four, 16 degrees, not a nice warm one, and then 10, five, two. Oops, don't need that last one. Okay, so with a spreadsheet, all you have to do is highlight the data uh, that you want to graph, and then you're going to do a scatter plot. All right, and you're thinking, ah, what, you know, what's that? What's going on there? But um, what we do is that scatter plot, we can get it to connect the dots up by hitting the down arrow and selecting the option, or this option here, and uh, that'll just convert it into a line graph, okay, or an XY line graph or a time series plot. So again, it's another way of just seeing what the um, what it looks like, whether there's any patterns or trends or things like that that you can use to describe and again to compare different scatter plots. So two ways to do it. Um, but really easy once you get the hang of it.